Dear friends, I would like to explain you two stage compression with flash intercooler and flash gas removal. This schematic which I have drawn, it shows a flash intercooler. Look at this. This is a flash intercooler. It is actually a flash chamber used as an intercooler. So it is known as flash intercooler. The compression happens in two stages, compressor 1 and compressor 2. The refrigerant emerging out from evaporator at the state 1, as you see over here, gets into the first stage. It is compressed in the first stage and then it is intercooled in the flash intercooler. The refrigerant would then enter the compressor 2. This will be more clear when we look at the pH diagram. You see here that the compression happens in... 1 to 2, this is compressor 1, this is pH diagram and then there is an intercooling in a flash intercooler and then there is a compression in compression, compressor 2. Okay, so 1 to 2 is in the first stage compression and uh, 2, uh, 2 dash to 3 is a second stage compression and 2 to 2 dash it is intercooling, it is intercooling. Now this arrangement uh, if you look at this arrangement and compare it with the earlier arrangement, you see that the flash intercooler performs two roles. One is intercooling as explained earlier and the second is flash gas removal. Now, you need to be very clear as to how this flash intercooler helps in the flash gas removal. Look at the state 4 to 5. State 4 to 5 is an expansion. 4 to 5 is an expansion in a throttling device and at the state 5, there are flash gas is generated. There is a flash gas generated at the state 5. Okay, this is because of throttling. Now, these flash gases, they do not play any role in the refrigerating effect and it is good that they are removed. Okay, so this is removed by making use of the flash intercooler. So, this is an arrangement for removal of flash gas. So, you see that from 5 to 6, from 5 to 6, you would have let me show you. Yeah, five, 5 to 6, you see that the flash gases are removed. Flash gases are removed and the refrigerant enters the state, uh, the second throttling device at the state 6. So, this is uh, the throttling device, which is the second throttling device, second expansion device. And you see that the entry to this second throttling device is a saturated liquid. So, this is a saturated liquid entering the second expansion device. Okay. So, what has happened at state 6 is the flash gases have been removed because of flash intercooler. And where have they gone? The flash gases have gone to the compressor 2. Okay. So, this is a place where the flash gases would go. So, the flash gases would go along with the refrigerant, along with the refrigerant from this. So, flash gases would go into the compressor 2. So, what would be the mass balance? The mass balance would be like this. Uh, the mass which is exiting from the evaporator 1, uh, evaporator, we will call it as M1, it goes to the compressor 1. So, the mass entering the compressor 1 is M1. It goes to the flash intercooler. Uh, in the flash intercooler, because of <coughs> the addition of the flash gases from this point, as well as because of the flash gases generated in the flash intercooler, because of uh, the refrigerant, entering the flash intercooler at state 2, you will have a higher mass M2. Okay, This has to be understood more clearly. M2 is because of the flash gases which are removed as well as the flash gases which are removed here, flash gases removed as well as flash gases generated in the flash intercooler. Now, why are the flash gases generated? In the flash generator, the flash ga uh, gases are generated because of the superheated vapor getting subcooled, uh, uh, getting <coughs> desuperheated. So, flash gases generated. Look at this. This is M1. This is M1, which is there. This is M1. This is M1. And the M1 is desuperated. M1 is desuperated. And when it is desuperated, the flash gases are generated. Also, the flash gases are generated when there is a removal of flash gas during this process of 5 to 6. So, two flash, two sources of flash gases, they are added in this 
one is the flash gases which are generated during desuperheating this is desuperheating uh, 1 to 2 is compression and 2 to 2 dash is desuperheating 2 to 2 dash is desuperheating or we can simply call it as cooling okay so here also the flash gases are generated they are also removed and in 5 to 6 the flash gases are removed okay and all these flash gases along with m1 they get into the compressor 2 okay so this way the mass balance would be m2 would be m1 plus the flash gases and this m1 m2 being greater than m1 m2 being greater than m1 would increase the compressor work because compressor work in 2 would be m2 into the enthalpy difference across the compressor 2. Compressor work 1 would be m1 into enthalpy difference across the compressor 1. And the refrigerating effect we would get is because of m1 and the enthalpy difference across the evaporator. So look at the diagram now, it will be clear. Enthalpy difference across the evaporator is H1 minus H7 h1 minus h7 and this is more because you are removing the flash gases this is more relative to the case where the flash gases are not removed because the flash gases are removed flash gases are removed okay so this is an advantage of removal of flash gases however the disadvantage is that this is the advantage we get because of flash gas removal the disadvantage is that this m2 is greater than m1 and hence this increases the total compressor work of the compressor 2 of the compressor 2 this is a disadvantage so now depending upon which refrigerant is used in the circuit if you are if you are using ammonia as a refrigerant if you are using ammonia as a refrigerant then generally this arrangement is going to give you an additional advantage of increasing the cop so with ammonia, this arrangement is always desirable. So flash intercooling arrangement is desirable if you are using ammonia as a refrigerant, right? And the advantage of using flash intercooling with flash gas removal, this is a flash gas removal, flash gas removal, advantage is that the there is a gain in the specific refrigerating effect. This is the additional gain, additional gain in the specific refrigerating effect because if the flash gases were not removed thus expansion would have been like this and we would have got only this much as the specific refrigerating effect so this we need to understand clearly that the flash gas removal would increase the specific refrigerating effect and this can happen by making use of this arrangement where we are using flash intercooler for removing the flash gases so this is in addition to the role which the flash chamber plays in flash intercooling okay thank you very much